Great Gorilla, what's up? Let's see here. We got some business to talk about tonight. Condition yourself with a knife and fork. That's right. You don't need to be doing all those goddamn sets in the gym. You go to the gym to fucking stimulate growth. You do your conditioning with the knife and fork. Too many people are working out too fucking long. What do you think your cortisol levels are after these marathon training sessions? Especially little fitness whores that do 20 sets of fucking hamstrings for a muscle that's the fucking diameter of a hot dog. <clears throat> Unsubscribe from Big Rob 3-1. Yes, we need to address that tonight. Um, I was waiting to get a little closer to 100. We're at 77. Hey, Crystal, um, I might make it to the Arnold. Um, I've got a delivery in Ohio, and I might be able to talk my boss into taking a day off. But uh, just keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Does, looks like we're going to stall out here at about 75. So let's talk about March 1st. We are unsubscribing from Big Rob's YouTube channel. I could give two tiddly fucks about Big Rob's Instagram. This is an unsub of his fucking YouTube. Because, I don't know, it's what I feel like doing. Um, and it's the weekend of the Arnold, and you know Jackass is going to be there interviewing people and pretending like he's friends with people, and no one's going to remember him from last year. Yeah, so, March 1st, unsubscribe if you are a subscriber to his YouTube channel. Focus on YouTube. Um, March 1st, which is Friday. So if you want to do it at midnight before you go to bed, feel free. In fact, that's what I would prefer. If you go to bed early, set your alarm for midnight on Thursday night. Get up after 12 o'clock, March 1st. Unsubscribe from Big Rob Fitness YouTube channel. <clears throat> because when he shows up at the fucking Arnold, it would just be wonderful if he was under a thousand subscribers. What the fuck was that? Um, so anyway... Now, I think Rob's been buying subscribers the past couple days after he got wind of this going down. So, uh, don't worry about Rob's numbers. Just worry, let's worry about unsubscribing. Would you cream pie Alicia T's after Jason had her? No, I wouldn't. Uh, no, not if Jason was involved. Only if Jason was the cuckold. <clears throat> yeah, the woman Jay's got in the back is trying to escape. Well, I doubt that. She's dead. Jay, I do not buy followers. Is that the real Big Rob? I doubt it. Because I think Big Rob's got me blocked. So he couldn't be on my page if he's got me blocked. <clears throat> so what else is new, Cum Stains? Uh, I am uh, east of Buffalo right now. Just getting hammered with snow here. Yeah, the authorities are watching my Instagram, according to Big Rob. Big Rob sent me a couple text messages to my cell phone saying that the authorities are watching me. And uh, Big Rob asked me if, if losing my freedom is worth this unsub thing to his YouTube. He thinks we're breaking the law. 
he thinks that the authorities are going to listen to him. You know, this is no different than telling your friends, hey, please don't watch CNN. It's misinformation. It's fake news. You're allowed to do that. It's a, we got, it's, for, it's a free country. This isn't a Muslim country where Rob's ancestors are from. We're allowed to do whatever we want within reason. We are not uh, infringing on Rob's right to have a YouTube channel. Rob has a right to have a YouTube channel. But he doesn't have the right to have our decent people subscribing to it. And we've got we've got people of the misfit maniacs and piss troopers that subscribe to Rob's channel, which is stupid. Because you don't need to be a subscriber to watch that idiot. I watch that idiot, and I'm not a subscriber. So if you subscribe to Big Rob on his YouTube channel, unsubscribe on March 1st. It's not fucking rocket science, people. If you don't subscribe to Rob's channel, this doesn't really involve you. So shut up about it if you're not a subscriber. It's really not that complicated. You guys have so many questions, and everyone's talking about it. There's nothing to talk about. On March 1st, if you subscribe to Big Rob's YouTube, unsubscribe. Period. March 1st. <clears throat> so anyway. Jay, should I go over 500 milligrams of test? First cycle, I'm doing with Anavar for my cut. Uh, well, anyway, I don't know how old you are. I don't know anything about your blood work. Um. So I can't really answer that question. But 500 is reasonable. If you got some Sipion A250, that's a CC on Monday and a CC on Thursday. It's, it's very common for a beginner. But I don't know you personally. I don't know your medical history. I am not a doctor. <clears throat> I would watch CNN for a good laugh like it was to... Yeah, okay. Do you think Alicia Tees will marry Jason? No. Come on, man. You guys ask some real fucking questions. Jay, meet me out in Rochester. Um, Rochester, New York? I'm going the opposite way. I'm going west. I'm going back to Ohio. Hopefully sneaking in the uh, Arnold Expo for a day. Not sure what day I can be there. Hey, Jay, go live with Brandon. No. Absolutely not. I'm real bored with Brandon. All right, Crystal, have a safe flight, sweetheart. Look forward to seeing your many updates with Physique Carry. <clears throat> no, I'm not going live with Soup. Cynthia would produce some first-round draft picks since she is part. I'm not going to say that racist word because I don't do that now. But the abbreviation is a PM. Um, how many rest days per week, Jay, currently bulking? Um, dude, you can train your whole body in four days. Um, I like a four-day split to hit the whole body. Um, training six days a week, man, you got to be on a shit ton of drugs to recover if you're going to train six days a week. Uh, Soup is in one of his cranky moods. I wouldn't know. I can't watch Soup. <clears throat> Being on the road so much, where do you do your shots at? Um, I prefer to do them in a truck stop um, shower room. Um, that way I can actually see my glutes in the mirror. Otherwise, it's like throwing a dart in the fucking dark. <clears throat> How's Dale doing? He's still short and fat and a hillbilly, so who cares? Uh, no, I'm not driving. I'm parked in a Walmart parking lot. Staying here for the night. There's a Planet Fitness right across the street. Like, literally right across the street. Um, so I'm going to go hit legs first thing in the morning. And then um, be on my way to Ohio. And then see what I can swing. I can get Friday off and get over to the expo. 
How often are you in Kentucky? Drink whiskey and lift weights. Well, for one thing, they have bourbon in Kentucky, you moron. Um, or bourbon is a whiskey. Uh, bourbon is a uh, whiskey that is distilled in the bourbon, bourbon county, I believe, of Kentucky. I don't think it can be called a bourbon unless it's distilled in bourbon county. <clears throat> Thanks, Mail Kurt Prick. I am titled Dale Butterball Chance. Go live with soup. You guys quit saying that. That guy irks me, man. He was cute when he first made the scene with Joe, and now he's just obnoxious as fuck. I need an ice pack immediately. Yeah, that was funny. I think that was a creatine cramp the day I did the 505 for a double. You guys ever get creatine cramps? Because uh, my pre-workout, the Outlift, it's got quite a bit of creatine in it. And that's the only creatine I take. Jay is full of humanity. Jay, would you lick Jason's pearl? I thought a pearl was a clit. Why would Jason have a clit? Grape Gorilla says, three days and you are good. Squat, push, and pull. Yeah, that's basically my routine. Legs on their own day. Anyone who splits up hamstrings and quads is a moron. Um, and then the upper body, I, I split in half. The weights are either coming towards your core, like a pulling movement, or the weights are going away from your core, like a pushing movement. Very simple, people. But the reason I say a four-day split is because you can do a second push routine for your upper body, but go light. Um, and the way you would work that is you would do your leg routine with a power squat on a Monday. Tuesday would be your heavy bench press and all your heavy pressing movements. Um, Wednesday off. Thursday you would do a deadlift with your pulling upper body, like your back and biceps. And then Friday, you would come back in and do a second pressing routine, but light. Just getting in some reps, get a pump, get all the lactic acid out. It's basically like an active recovery. That's the best four-day split I've ever seen or heard about. Because you're really getting some lower body in twice a week, too. Because you're uh, doing legs on Monday and you're deadlifting on Thursday. And that's about perfect, because that way you're getting 72 hours of recovery before you deadlift. And then after you deadlift, you're getting 96 hours of recovery before you have to go in and squat. And that's fucking ideal. You can't do it any better than that. The squat deadlift split on a Monday, Thursday. It, I mean, you could switch the days like a Tuesday, Friday, or a Wednesday, Saturday. But you want 72, you want a deadlift 72 hours after you squat. And then you want that extra day after you deadlift before you come back and squat again. <clears throat> That's the best four-day program. Ed Cohn, when he was competing back in the day, used to do that split. I remember reading about it in Muscle and Fitness, so it must be true. Would you pin in your thighs? I pin my thighs all the time. Um, I've never had any um, bad luck. But I don't use big monster pins either. I use pussy pins. Jay, do you have any tattoos? Yeah, I got that weak-ass hammerhead on my right calf. I'd love to get it fucking covered up. Uh, are you going for the over-50 bench record or not, Jay? Don't be a bitch. Dude, when I was going to do that bench press record, I was going to compete in the super heavies because the record for the fat guys isn't as good it's actually less than the 308s and the 275s. 275s and 308s can usually outlift the super heavyweights. And when it comes to the over 50 world bench press record, it, it proves my point. Um, I believe the, uh, the record in the 275s is like 5 fucking 80, and I don't see me doing that. Um, 
the record in the 308s is like 560 and then the record in the um the record in the super heavyweight was only like 540 and i saw that as a very weak record um but i believe the man who had the record has upped it i don't know if it's legit if he did it in a meet or what <clears throat> what's his name something cole big dude big fat guy weighs about 380 <clears throat> so no I am dieting out of the super heavyweight so I will not be making an attempt at that world record more interested in being healthy you guys don't realize that at Christmas time I was on my fucking deathbed literally on my deathbed bleeding out my fucking stomach like a motherfucker you know I shit black for about a week before I gave up drinking um and I didn't give up drinking until the blood came out the other end, until I threw up blood. But when blood is coming out in your stool, um, your stool is black, because the blood has to go through your entire digestive system. So I was shitting black, but that really didn't bother me. I knew I was bleeding on the inside, but I didn't give a fuck. As long as it's coming out your ass, who cares, right? Keep drinking. Be a man. But then the minute I threw up blood... In my mind, I, I, I mentally said the words, only a loser goes back to drinking after throwing up blood. And um, I'm not a fucking loser, even though some of you guys think I am. So anyway, that's that's that. I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, um, I think Friday will be two months since uh, intoxicating liquors or tobacco have touched these beautiful lips. So, that's what I want for my two-month anniversary, is you guys to unsub from Big Rob Fitness YouTube channel. I'm way behind on comments. Big J, what are your thoughts on Big Rob trying to push Chris Evans as a big star for Michigan when he's been a mediocre number two? Uh, Chris Evans was a good little running back. Um, Someone told me Chris Evans got kicked off the team, and Rob really made an ass out of him in that interview. Um, I'm not sure if there's any truth to that. But no, Chris Evans is a good little running back. Um, I got no problem with Chris Evans if he's still on the team. He's not a feature back. He's a good He's a good number two. But yeah, you're right. He's a good number two. But Rob is Rob, man. Rob's a fucking idiot. We know that. Um, Jay, what is your bench press goals? Um... I don't know. Um, when I was 290, before I got real fucking fat, um, I completed a 10 sets of 10 with my body weight, which was 290. I did 290 pounds for 10 sets of 10. 100 reps with my body weight. Um, I was pretty proud of that. Um, back then, um, I believe I tried... Um, seeing how many sets of 10 with 315 I could do. And I believe my best ever sets of 10 with 315 is six sets of 10. I did 60 reps with 315, six sets of 10. Um, I'd like to get back to that. That level of conditioning, you're holding a lot of motherfucking muscle. No more Gorilla Mints, no, no more menthols. I only smoke when I drink, so I don't even want to talk about it, guys. It's over. The new J is here. Here we go. Tommy Cruz confirming Chris Evans isn't on the team. Yeah, he got kicked off for some reason. I don't know. Harbaugh runs a pretty tight ship. Uh, okay. Training muscle groups once per week. I don't know what that means. Where is Lenny? Um, Lenny, I, get, I would bet, is at home in bed where Lenny belongs. Um, if Lenny is out and about, things are not good. There's some Ariana's biggest fan, 69420. What's up, brother? What's your workout split? Um, I basically, like I said, I split my body into three, three workouts, legs by themselves, an upper body push, an upper body pull, 
and I just go to the gym when I can get there, and I whatever whatever's next on my list to do, I do. Because I'm a truck driver and I don't get to the gym on the same days, um, you know, it varies. But I, I, I'm not, I never can go heavy or hard on the same muscle group any sooner than, than seven days. Um, so, you know, if, so it's tough to work out more than four days a week because then you start having pussy workouts. Okay, here we go. Jay is sexually attracted to Brad deep down, so the peer pressure of Brad's, Brad's sexual forces will put you back on the 25 ounces of steel reserve in no time. That's true. Um, my repressed homosexuality and Brad's rejection of my sexual advances will force me to start drinking again. I agree with that 100%. Jay, keep up the diet, brother. Uh, uh, go for the 545 squat. That's nothing. I did 550 in Vegas at the uh, when I was there for the Olympia. Do you think Lenny still wants to fight you? He seems down to me. No, Lenny and I are not going to brawl. Um, I, I toned it. I toned down the rhetoric a little bit. And I told the fellas, why don't we just get, just for fun, let's get some big, soft, sparring gloves so nobody gets hurt, get a hold of some headgear and those stupid kidney belts or whatever they are that people wear when they spar, you know, the safety equipment. And let's just do a little for fun, um, three rounds. I don't know, most of you guys aren't old enough to remember Tough Man. It was a big deal back in the 90s, but it was basically bar fighting in a ring, and there was three rounds. Um, for the big guys, it was one-minute rounds, three one-minute rounds. So it's just nonstop brawling for 60 seconds, and you get your wind, another 60 seconds of all-out brawling. There's no boxing, because it's only a 60-second round. So you just brawl until you're exhausted, then you take a rest, and you do that three times. That's tough man style. Um, I think me and Lenny could get in the ring and do do a tough a three three a tough man, just for fun. Because um, I don't think with with big puffy fucking training gloves, I don't think we could hurt each other. I know Lenny couldn't hurt me. No shoulder day. Um. Well, yeah. On back day, when you do rows, you're training your rear delts, dude. I just don't do any isolation work for my rear delts. But yeah, my rear delts get a ton of work when I'm doing rows. And on my chest day, my fucking front delts get fucking destroyed, especially on the incline. Um, last week, I did that 405 for a triple, and that was my second exercise. My front delts were destroyed from that. Um, now, I know some of you guys are saying, well, Jay, you did 405 for six with, with Andrew filming. Yeah, but I came in and did inclines fresh that day. So I did. So do an incline second. I can only get three. Do an inclines first. I got six. Um, and no, you, you know, and, and after I do my bench and my incline and my close grips for my tries, usually to just maintain some middle deltoid, um, I'll get on. The, I'll, I'll do some machine machine presses for shoulder. I don't. I don't fuck around with free weights for deltoids. I'll just do some hammer strength. Um, shoulder press, um, just just to get a get a deltoid pump in there. That's all you need. If you unless you're going to step on stage, you don't need to dedicate an entire day to deltoids. It's it's just a waste. Grape Gorilla, what about the guys that wear gloves on leg day? What kind of shit is that? I don't know. I'm not even going to mention that. Jay, you'd beat the shit out of Lenny. you got to fight him, dude. I don't want to beat the shit out of Lenny. He's my friend. I love Lenny. I've got a... <clears throat> uh, the leather daddy is afraid to die of liber failure alone. I don't know what that means. Urban Farmer 1987. What's up, bro? Pinned my delt for the first time today. Well, I got a friend to do that. 
Ha ha, whatever that means. Maniac sauce, what's up, dude? That's better, Jay. Talk about piss. Ha ha ha, whatever that means. Freudian slip. Thoughts on wearing leggings to squat. Fucking gay. Gay as fuck. I work out in gym shorts and a fucking gym shirt. That's all you fucking need. I talk shit about Lenny's good friends. I guess I did. I'm not going to talk about Lou on my live anymore. I made that, you know, realize that was wrong. I don't want, well, you guys don't need to be talking shit about Lou on my live either. Um, and as far as Lenny's other good friend, um, I'm not even going to mention his name, Kitty Cat Boy. We, we're not going to talk about him either. So. Bar fighting has no rules or format, bud. But you misunderstood what I meant. They would put up a boxing ring inside a bar. So it was called a tough man contest. And you would get inside a real ring with gloves. And it was three one-minute rounds. Google tough man and look at, look at some of the shit from the 90s. Jay, have you checked out the Alliance Football League yet at all? No, but I hear great things about it hear real good things about it. <clears throat> How's Big Richard? I wouldn't know. Whatever happened to Rich Piana? Uh, Rich um, is passed away. Rich died of his death. <clears throat> I wish Rich could have got sober before he died, because you can't mix steroids with party drugs. You know, look at me. I was I was doing steroids and drinking like a fish. My time was coming, man. I wish Rich I wish Rich Piana would have would have saw the warning signs. God damn, they use sixteen ounce gloves in that shit. That's big, right? Big 16 ounce gloves have got to be like pillows. Face pulls for rear delts. The only thing I'm pulling towards my face is a nice pussy. Nice big clit that's going to squirt all over me. Oh. Jay, would you fuck black? I don't know what that means. No, I can't get away. That's a dumb idea. I can't. I can't drink a couple times a year. You don't realize. I'll go back to daily drinking within three weeks. I know. I know my personality. I know my. Uh, who cares what percent body fat you are? Like, like Prince Andrew said, only autistics worry about numbers. Jay, have you been doing cardio still since we saw you do pickups? Uh, no, I have not. Um, I really abandoned cardio like a very bad boy. I'll get back to it, I guess. HCG in your PCT. What's PCT, dude? I'm going to be 50 years old. I never go off test. What's for dinner, Jay? I don't know yet. Oh, maybe a quart of kefir. That'll put me to bed, all that sugar. I love kefir. Probiotics in the kefir, I think, is what healed my stomach so fast. Is there any plans for Friday, March 1st? Well, that's a great question, Michael Jacoby13. Um, we've got a little thing called Unsub Big Rob Fitness uh, for his YouTube channel. Um, thanks for asking. Make sure to remind all your friends. Jay, how much scar tissue do you have from pinning for so many years? I have no clue. Squat barefoot? Um, I don't know. I bought a pair of Vans to squat in. 
I like something flat. It's better than barefoot. When are you coming back to pay all up, Washington? I'm not sure. Buggy fresh full. Do you live up there? I don't recognize your handle. Why are you asking about payola? Christopher Overhold. I deadlift in socks. That works. Um, I'm thinking rock climbing shoes would probably be the perfect deadlift shoe. But I wasn't going to buy a pair of shoes just for deadlifting. That's why I ordered a set of Van slip-ons. Alonzo Amazing. Can we have some fucking fun, Jay? You are being the fun police. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why I'm not fun. I don't know. Life is more boring when you're fucking clean and sober. Um, you gotta find different ways to have fun. Like, I find it really fun to have a nice big meal and go to bed early and train hard in the morning. Get all jacked up on pre-workout powder on an empty stomach. And then have a great post-workout meal. You just gotta change what gives you happiness. Who really cares what other people think? When you start caring what other people think is fun, you're a cookie cutter. Live for you, bro. Live for you. You're the one that's got to live in your own skin. Thoughts on UFC 235? I don't pay attention to UFC. Wasn't the rumor that he died from a shot of Slim? I doubt it. Uh, 700 pounds ripped. How did you become a truck driver, and would you recommend it as a profession? Um, I, I um, became a truck driver because out of college I was, I was uh, a merchandiser for Pepsi-Cola. And... Um, I was going to get a um, account manager position after I'd, I'd been a merchandiser with Pepsi for a while, and uh, the account manager that was above me was injured, and my boss, um, so I was filling in for this guy, even though I wasn't making his salary, and I did a real good job. I'm, you know, I was a young kid, 20, 23 years old or something, 24, I don't remember. But anyway, my boss said he's not going to be able to come back from the injury, so we're going to give you the position. You've been doing a good job with it. And I committed the biggest mistake of my life. Instead of staying on the front side of the house um, and getting into the sales management side in the beverage industry, I got a stupid fucking idea that if I got my CDL and became a driver, I could make more money quicker. Which is true. I mean, the driver is going to make more money entry level than people in the sales management side. But you got to look at down the road. And I wasn't looking down the road. I was 24, 20, whatever, 1994. I wanted to make more money right now. So I got my CDL and I started driving. And um, probably the biggest mistake of my life getting out of the sales management side and getting into the um, delivery side, operation side. I'm still pissed about it. Oh, what do you think about Jason's new app? I think it's stupid. Um, I don't like any of Jason's sayings that he said. It's I, it's retarded. Do you like black girls? Only if they're 50% white and they look like they're barely black. Jay, you should be asleep growing right now. You're right. But you guys have um, 
really been bugging me to do a live at night. So, and I, I, I had to nail it down and really skid it through your guys' skull what we're doing March 1st. And I thought a live was the only way I could get through to you morons. These memes that we're doing, just, you guys have too many fucking questions. You going to Kalura's show? Is Kalura's, oh, I said his name, God damn it! Is he still even, is Catboy even still doing, is Whiskers even doing a show? Jay, I sent you the final unsub video for 3-1 via DM. All right, thanks, New Universal Order. Thoughts on magnesium, Jay? Uh, magnesium is great. It's an electrolyte. Um, they also put it in incinerary explosives. I don't know. I don't think about magnesium a lot. I know that a lot of fucking retards that go on a low-fat diet to lose weight wind up becoming magnesium deficient because the two best natural sources for magnesium are egg yolks and nuts. So people think, oh, I want to cut out my fat. I'm only, I'm, my name's Dale Chance. I'm only going to eat egg whites. And f nuts have too much fat. Well, people like that wind up not getting enough natural magnesium. Nuts are good. Nuts have, nuts have real good um, fat. And you want some egg yolk. Come to Chicago, please. <laughs> Go on a racist rant. We entitled. I only talk racist shit when I'm hammered. It's real boring to talk about that when you're sober. Okay, you guys about bored with this? Are you sponsored by Uplift? No, I'm not sponsored by Nutrex, but they should pick me up. <clears throat> but I guess you got to compete to be a, to get a, be a sponsored athlete, don't you? I don't know. I don't do ephedrine, so I, I used to do ephedrine. I'm going to be 50 years old. I'm not going to do ephedrine. You hauling a load of dildos? I wish, because I'd have a pack of chicks following me. Grape Gorilla. Hey, Jay, solid advice on the slip-on vans. I switched from an elevated heel to the solid vans, and my squats have been going up every week. Yeah, I don't know why Brad fucking followed Big Lenny and bought those gay fucking weightlifting shoes. Those are for Olympic lifting people. That's why the fucking CrossFit homos wear them. Those are for doing clean and jerks and snatches. That's the only thing those shoes are any good for. I guess you could use them for front squats. Having a little bit of a heel is good for a front squat. But those are Olympic lifting shoes, people. They're not really squat shoes. Huh. I'm a merchandiser for Pepsi-Cola in San Diego. Well, stick with it, bro. If you do a good job, you can rise up through the ranks, get a fucking cushy fucking management, middle management position. People aren't going to stop drinking soda. That's job security, working for Pepsi or Coke. Who the fuck is Momo? I have no idea. Big Rob from one of his videos said you do meth. Big Rob is a moron, haven't we? Con haven't we already concluded that? Uh. All right. These, um, Jay, how do you get over a high school crush? You fuck her friend, dummy. Uh, 
<clears throat> what's happening March 1st. If you don't know by now, you're a moron. Jay, I missed, I missed it, but did Rob threaten to put you in jail for the unsub? No, um, he text messaged me the other night. I checked my block box, because I knew it was, he was going to crack eventually. And um, he sent me about 20 text messages. Um, one of them said that the authorities are watching my Instagram account. And the other one, he asked me a question. He said, is risking your freedom worth what you're doing? He's such an idiot. Like, I'm, like the, the police are going to come arrest me for telling people to fucking exercise their free right to fucking unsub from a moron's YouTube channel. Jay, the problem is no one has subscribed to Rob in the first place. Yeah, I know. I don't know where he gets 2,000 subscribers. Um, they can't all be bought. Um, I don't know. I've read the comments. It doesn't seem like he has any real fans. Um, when you read the comments on Rob's YouTube videos, um, most of them are downright bashing the fucking loser. And then the ones that are nice... I mean, the sarc they're just oozing with sarcasm, so you can tell they're trolling him. So I don't know how many real fans he has. I don't know. See, he has bought so many fucking subscribers. No matter, no matter how many people unsubscribe, he's going to claim he won. Because he's got all those fake subscribers. So don't let that bother you. He, it's, it's Rob. He's a moron. You can't ever let a moron bother you. What are your honest thoughts on Jason Genova? Um, I think he's a likable idiot. Um, I think that um, he makes a lot of decisions that um, make it hard to like him. But he's still a pretty likable idiot. Jay, what's the first time you got laid? Um, springtime in the eighth grade. How can you? How can one get rid of social anxiety? Um, that's a tough one. A lot of people have that. Um, I don't think you want medicine. I mean, because anybody can take a Xanax and be the life of the party. Um, and you, you know, a lot of people turn to alcohol for social anxiety, take the edge off. But you don't want to do that either. So I don't know. You really got to work with it. I don't know. I think you got to love yourself um, before other people are going to like you. So if you don't love yourself, no one else is going to love you. So you're going to feel anxious in public because you're going to be able to tell nobody loves you. So start loving yourself. That's about the only advice I can give you. Because I tell you, when you love yourself and when you're feeling good, it rubs off on other people and other people are attracted to you. People want to be around other happy people. It's just human fucking nature. Um... If you're being miserable or unhappy, no one wants to be around you. So, find a way to get happy. You don't have to be happy all the time like a gay fucking idiot. But just have some inner peace. And, yeah, that's even a better word. Fuck, happy. Fuck being happy. Can't be happy all the time. Just find some inner peace. You find inner peace, and I don't care how you do it, meditation, whatever. Getting your dick sucked. Whatever. Find some inner peace and you will be less anxious around other people and other people will be more um, drawn to you 
hopefully in a sexual way. Big Rob said he's over you. Okay. Oh my God. Cheney Sean just asked my date to leave so I could watch your live in peace. Well, I hope you fucked her first. Send her to her next boyfriend's house with a cream pie. Let that asshole taste your seed. Jay, would you cream pie Big Rob's wife? I'm not going to talk about the man's family. Um, I feel bad for his family. They're victims in all this. So let's leave them out of it. You don't want people talking about your family. Yeah, I think a lot of them are trolls that just sub for him for the drama. Yeah, it's true. Most of Rob's fucking subs are people that just love the fucking mints. Jay, have you ever had any health setbacks besides your knee or ulcer? Um, no, I've been I've been real lucky. Um, that menis that meniscus repair is the only surgery I've ever had. I've never been in a cast. Just um, you know, some stitches here and there, and some sprains. That's about it. Oh, but I do suffer from mental illness. If you haven't noticed. When, at what age, did you start lifting? Uh, my mom got me a set, 110-pound iron set of weights, 110-pound bar barbell set uh, for Christmas in the 8th grade. So January in, uh, of 1984, would have, when I was in the 8th grade, um, is when I started lifting. No, that would have been January of 83. January of 83... Because I got the weights in Christmas of 82. So January of 83, I started lifting. And what? About five months later, I'm banging pussy. Jay, do you watch Alex Jones? No, but I like him. When's the last time you toked a fat one, Jay? Um... Vegas, but I only took one hit. This is true. You have to learn to be happy alone first before you can make anyone else happy in any sense. Yeah, I agree 100%. If, if you're walking an up and down Atlantic Avenue like Jason does, and you don't belong anywhere and you're not comfortable anywhere, dude, you're going to you're going to appear to be a freak to people. You got to be you got to have inner peace. You got to be you got to feel comfortable and wherever you're at is the fucking place to be. You know, kind of like Matthew McConaughey in Dazed and Confused. You you want to be the dude. You want to be the man that everyone's attracted to. And you don't do that by being a fucking uncomfortable hyper fucking mess. You do that by being fucking mellow and cool. Um, Jay, do you use electronic logs in your truck? Um, my logbook is an app in my phone. Leave it at that. Why are you so passive-aggressive? Why not just take Rob up and have a boxing match? Well, for one thing, Rob and I live in different states. And I, I'm not about to go to Michigan just to fight a moron. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting my hazmat for trucking. 
I'm not in. Fenobots doesn't really work on me. Uh, I saw bits and pieces of Lee Priest. Love Lee Priest. Do you think fat people get laid less often? Not the wealthy ones. The wealthy ones do just fine. Jay, thoughts on Bill Kazmar? Love the guy. Um, when I was a teenager and in my early 20s, he was the, the fucking man. Oh, how much time we got left in this, people? I need to fucking have a bedtime snack and go to bed. I don't know anything about baseball. Some of these comments, you guys are repeating yourselves. Is that because you want me to read them? What? Have you ever had someone with Crohn's disease shit on you by accident? It wasn't an accident. I asked them to shit on me. Huh. <laughs> Order 66, Big Rob, Lifetime. Well, I don't want to confuse everyone with an Order 66 right now. Um, I want everyone to focus on the unsub on his YouTube. Jay, have you been off ice cream still? I had a pint of um, ice cream when I was in Florida. Couldn't help myself. My very last night in Florida, I got a pint of haagen strawberry. How long do you think Larry Wheels has before he seriously hurts himself? I don't know, man. Tendons are an unpredictable thing. I don't. The kind of catastrophic injury um, that he could have you cannot predict. I, to be honest, it looks comfortable as fuck in your sleeper. Dude, I get the best sleep in this truck. Um, I love sleeping in the truck. Um, and I like sleeping in hotels, too. <sighs> Hotels I like because you can get them goddamn ice cold with those air conditioners that are underneath the window. How, how come those get it colder than you can get your house? I don't get it. I love hotels because I'll get that motherfucker ice motherfucking cold. Jay, how many times a day do you shit? It health concerning. Um... I shit about twice a day, sometimes three, maybe fucking four. But really depends on hydration. More hydrated you are, the more the more dumps you're gonna take. Queen of the Empire sixty six. Every time I see a truck driver, I think of you, babe. Ah, I love you too, sweetie. I want to steal you from Jason and fill you with cum in every hole. Why does BSL attract porn stars? Kendra Lust and Zoe Gregory. I don't know. Maybe PJ's paying them, you dipshit. No, I do not have a shit bucket in my truck. But a lot of truck drivers do do that. They'll get a five-gallon pail, and they'll line it with a trash can, and then they'll, with a trash bag, I'm sorry. They'll take a dump in it. And then they'll tie off the bag and throw the bag in a dumpster. It's disgusting. I
I don't really know anything about enhanced athletes, um, SARMs. I know I like Tony Huge. I think he's a great personality. I really enjoy Tony Huge, and he was nice as fuck in um, Vegas. And he's a huge Misfits fan. But I don't know much about the enhanced athlete line, so I'd rather not comment because I, I don't know anything. Still planning to hit 290? Well, eventually. Just the weight loss is going real slow. But you know, I was so... I was drinking so much, I was missing meals. Now that I'm eating properly, my body is just fucking growing. Oh, Christopher Over Overholt, are you setting me up here? Greatest college sports rivalry? Are you kidding me? Michigan and Ohio State, you dummy. Give me a fucking break. Why do you guys want to talk about diarrhea? What about wa washing hands and wiping ass? I'll tell you what. I carry at least three different kinds of wipes with me in the truck. Um, I've got baby wipes for my asshole. Um, I've got um, facial wipes by Burt's Bees, which are really nice. Um, and I've also got, you know, the wet wipes, you know, the, the, the ones just for your hands. Yeah, you got to carry wipes in the truck because water is not always available. Uh, uh, a lot of guys carry hand sanitizer, but if you got the wet ones, wipes with alcohol, what do you need hand sanitizer for? What do your stools look like, Jay? Uh, like everyone else's, I hope, but I've never seen anyone else's. Why don't you come over and shit for me? Uh, Brad loves to talk about me and Jason smelling. Yep, Harbaugh has not beat Ohio State yet at Michigan. You're correct. We got him at home this year. We'll see. Fart porn? I'm not a fan. I like MILF porn. I don't want to watch young chicks that don't even have mature bodies. That's so disgusting. I am definitely into MILF porn. And you guys remember a long time ago... I said always throw the words big tits into your porn search. Whatever you're looking for, like if you want anal porn, big tit anal. If you want MILF porn, big tit MILF. If you want MILF anal, you do big tit MILF anal. <clears throat> always throw big tit or big tits in your fucking mil uh, porn search. You want lesbians, do big tits lesbians. Big tits. Always add it to your porn search. Whatever you're looking for. Makes the search that much better. Uh, uh, so most of my searches include big tits, MILF, and then whatever I want to see. Anal, cuckold, gangbang, strap-on, facial, bukkake, squirting, whatever. You just throw your adjective at the end of big tits, MILF. <clears throat> 